Hello, welcome to my channel. Following the last video on antimicrobials, I want now to share uh, this game uh, on antimicrobials. I call it Microbisico and it's a game uh, for two players or two group of players. As you can see on the board, there is a horse with different organs. Some of them, for example, lungs and gastrointestinal tract are repeated for adult and fall. Each player has his own deck of cards. So one has the bacteria cards and the other one the antimicrobial cards. The aim of the game for the bacteria is to colonize organs while for the antimicrobials is to keep the board clear. So at the beginning of the game, uh, each player shuffle uh, the deck of cards and draw seven cards. Bacteria always play first and put the cards that they wish to use on the organs. On the bacteria cards, as you can see, uh, there are the characteristics of each bacterium. So which organ it can infect, to which antibiotics uh, is resistant. Um, and this, if it's an infection of false, is written in green. Now, just to let you know, uh, in a game, uh, rules should be very clear. So organs and antimicrobial resistance written on the cards are based on the most common characteristic of each bacteria, but may not correspond with what happens in real life. Uh, while playing, only one bacteria card can be placed on each organ. So if there is already a card on an organ, it's not possible to, to play another card on the same organ but can be added uh, to uh, the cards also the antimicrobial resistance. These cards are also inside of the same deck of cards and can be played uh, or together with the, a new uh, bacteria card or added to a, a bacteria card that is already on the board. These cards confer resistance to different antimicrobials and the maximum of two cards of resistance can be added uh, to a bacteria card. After bacteria have played, it's the turn of antimicrobials and they must try to remove bacteria cards from the board. So they have to choose uh, which antimicrobial they can use depending on where the infections are and which bacteria uh, are causing them. For example, if a bacteria is placed on the central nervous system, they will have to choose an antimicrobial that penetrates the central nervous system. And this is a characteristic that is written in green, uh, usually at the end. Another thing to respect is the um, administration in falls or in adults. That is also a characteristic written on the card. Um, and for example, uh, amikacin or erythromycin can be administered only in falls, while enrofloxacin can be administered only in adults. These characteristics are based on the fact that and rofloxacin can cause damage of the grow uh, cartilage in young animals. Um, amikacin usually is very expensive for a systemic use in adults, and the uh, uh, macrolids uh, can cause colitis in adult horses. Again, these rules are very strict for the game, but is not what happens in uh, real life situations. But at least uh, these rules should help to remember what is common. When an antimicrobial card is played against uh, a bacteria, both cards are removed from the board and discarded. I'm assuming that the antimicrobial is effective against that bacteria, as if it's not, cannot be played. 
Uh, if the bacteria card add also cards of resistance, these are, are also removed from the game. On some antimicrobial cards, on the right upper corner, it's indicated if they are critically important for human medicine. This has no particular effect on the game, but the player will know when he is using this kind of antimicrobial so that it's a, a conscious choice. Within the deck of antibiotics, there are also three vaccines for strangle, tetanus and botulism, and they can be played at any time, but only when there is no active infection caused by this bacteria. For example, if I just draw the vaccine for strangle, but there is already a Streptococcus echi on the guttural pouches, I have first to use an antimicrobial to remove the infection, and then I can play the vaccine card. Vaccine cards should be placed on the right side of the board, and there will be no way to remove them. So from when the vaccine uh, has been placed on the board, the bacteria cards that cause that disease cannot be played on the board anymore and must be discarded. From the second turn upward, each player must draw a card from the deck before playing. And the game ends when the decks are finished. Just the last turn will be for the antibiotics and if at the end of the game there are still infections on the board, bacteria win. If the board ends clear, antibiotics win. In the link below the video, you can download this board and the cards. I suggest to print the board um, on an A3 sheet and six cards per page on a normal A4 sheet. An alternative to play the game is also play with four players, two alternated for each team. Uh, if you play, please let me know your experience and suggestion by commenting this video. If you would like to see more video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you, bye.